Hello children, welcome to Aditya classes once again. Today we are going to learn converse of basic proportionality theorem. So we already learned basic proportionality theorem and this is converse of basic proportionality theorem. What that this theorem says here, check it out. If a line divides any two sides of a triangle in the same ratio, then the line is parallel to the third side. Now how to understand this? I told you that from here to here this is given. After that you need to prove. What is given to you? That if a line divides any two sides of a triangle in the same ratio. That is if you take this triangle ABC. Alright. And if this line DE is dividing these two sides in the same ratio. That is AB and AC. That is if AD by DB is equal to AE by EC. So you can see that here AE by EC. Now you can see here that this line is dividing these two sides in the same ratio. Then what we need to prove? We need to prove that that line DE is parallel to BC. This is what you need to prove. This is converse of BPT. Now what BPT says and what we learned here, check it out. If this is the triangle ABC and if this line DE is drawn parallel to BC, what is given here? Check it out. What is given? Try to recall what you learned in BPT. DE is given parallel to BC. So what it says, if DE is parallel to BC, then what we proved? We proved that this line, parallel line, to this divides these two sides in the same ratio that is divides AB and AC in the same ratio that is AD by DB is equal to AE by EC. Now compare these two. This is basic proportionality theorem. This is converse of basic proportionality theorem means opposite. You can see here DE is parallel to BC given here it we we need to prove that D is parallel to BC. And in this case, this line is dividing these two sides in the same ratio, whereas here we proved that the parallel line divides those two sides in the same ratio. So, this is what the difference between BPT and basic uh, and converse of BPT. Understand here. Now, let us check it out here. How to, un so, how to understand this question? Let me explain it to you this way. All right. Now, in any uh, logic, if we prove that A is equal to B, then definitely B is equal to A. There is no doubt about it. But still they ask you to prove that B is equal to A. What we, what we have? A is equal to B. And what they are asking us to prove? Prove that B is equal to A. So definitely when A is equal to B, so, B is equal to A. There is no doubt about it. But still they ask us to prove that B is equal to A. Now, why they ask us such questions? These are, these questions actually test your skill. How much you understand and how depth you are in the subject. So, let me explain it to you this way. So, what is given to you? Let me draw the diagram first. Suppose this is the triangle given to you ABC in which a line is dividing two sides of a triangle in the same ratio. So this line DE is dividing these two sides in the same ratio. That is given to you is triangle ABC in which AD all right, by DB okay, fine, is equal to AE by EC. This is given to you. Then what you are supposed to prove? You are supposed to prove that DE is parallel to BC. Now prove that DE is parallel to BC. Now compare this once again with uh, the BPT that is the basic proportionality theorem in that DE was parallel to BC. Therefore this line DE divided these two sides in this ratio. And what they are asking you to prove? The opposite of it. Definitely D is parallel to BC. There is no doubt. But still they are asking us to prove. 
then we should go to assumption method. And what is that assumption method? If at all D is not parallel to BC, let us consider that there is some other line parallel to BC. Say D dash B parallel to BC. All right. No, that way we assume and continue. All right. So I'm going to solution straight away. See how I write here. If not D is parallel to BC. Of course D is parallel to BC. But still we need to prove that it is parallel to BC. So therefore if not D uh, parallel to BC. Let, let's assume. Let's assume that some other line. Some other line D dash B parallel to BC. D dash B parallel to BC. That's our assumption that D dash is parallel to BC. Now, if D dash is parallel to BC, then according to basic proportionality theorem, if a line is drawn parallel to one side of a triangle, it divides these two sides in the same ratio. Therefore, what I'm going to write here, therefore, AD by DB is equal to db is equal to all right that is db is equal to ae dash by e dash c e dash c all right by how by bpt basic proportionality theorem of things theorem so according to our assumption this is bpt but what they have given you write that one here but what is given to you ad by db is equal to ae by ec this is number two what is this this is absolutely given to you now compare one and two so this is our assumption this is given thing if you observe this left hand sides are equal ad by db is equal to ae by ad by db is equal to ad by db the left hand sides are equal therefore you can take the right hand sides equal so let me take here what i'm going to take here comparing one and two so let me write here from one and two from one and two what i'm going to get a e dash by e dash c is equal to a e by e c there you are now what is the use of getting this with the help of this, we are going to prove that DE is absolutely parallel to BC. There is no doubt. By proving that E dash and E coincide and they are not the different points. They cannot be the different points. Else, this cannot be proved. Alright. So, we are going to prove that E and E dash are same. They coincide. They cannot be different. Therefore, if uh, DE dash is parallel to BC, then absolutely DE is parallel to BC because E and E dash are the same points. They cannot be different. They coincide. That is our idea. All right here. Then for that purpose, what to do? I am going to add one to both the sides here. Check it out. I am writing here A dash by E dash C plus 1 is equal to AE by EC plus 1. All right. A by E C plus 1. Okay, fine here. Now, how to get this one here? If you have 2 by 3 plus 1, what are you going to do? A very simple calculation. 3 into 1, 3. So, 2 plus 3 by 3. So, this is how you are going to write and solve this here. In this, what I am going to get is that if I do this, see what happens. So, multiply these two. I am going to get here a e dash plus multiply those two e c dash into one e, e, e so e dash c into one is e dash c by e dash c is equal to the same thing here this is a e plus e c into one e c by e c now look at the logic that i'm going to explain you now a e dash plus e dash c a e dash plus e dash c that completely makes it AC. This is totally AC. So I'm going to write here AC by E dash C. E dash C is equal to, look at this here, AE plus EC. Look at this, AE plus EC is nothing but totally AC. So instead of this, I'm going to write here AC by EC. All right. 
Now you observe that the numerators are equal. AC is equal to AC. Therefore, absolutely, because of this equation equal, you can take the denominators equal. So this is what you get here. I'm going to get E dash C is equal to EC. Now, just geometrically compare this over here. E, they said, what, what, what is the outcome here? E dash C is equal to EC. But geometrically, with this figure, is it possible? It seems that E dash C is bigger than EC. All right. EC is smaller. E dash C is bigger. They cannot be equal. But what we got? Equal. That means here E dash and E cannot be different points. They are supposed to be the same points. Therefore, E dash and E coincide. That should be our conclusion. So what are, what are you going to write? This means, this means E dash and E are the same points. The same points means what? They coincide. What they do? They coincide. Absolutely they coincide. So that is the reason why if E dash E are the same, then means what? E dash E are the same means that's the only single point here. That means EC is equal to E dash C. Therefore, E dash and E are the same. That's the reason why. What conclusion you come here? If uh, E and E dash are the same, then if uh, DE dash according to our assumption is parallel to BC, then DE also should be parallel to BC. Reason? Both coincide. E and E coincide. They are the same point. So, according to our assumption, what? DE dash is parallel to BC. Therefore, D is parallel to BC. So, so therefore, what, what are you going to write? If DE dash is parallel to BC, then absolutely you can come to conclusion that D is parallel to BC. It is proved. If E dash and E are going to be different, it is impossible to solve this theorem. So I suggest you to go back to the basic proportionality theorem which I explained and come back to this again, study this once again and you will come to a very clear picture of uh, how to solve these two theorems. Good luck children.